What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons and as we play some nighttime gameplay for the 1st of April here in Astoria, uh, Flick is still here. Flip, 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 is it your name? Flip, Flick, <laughs> it's Flick. They reflect this sullied world yet retain their own beauty. I am bewitched by those compound eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, lost in my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Cause I'll buy any kind, any kind. Um, oh, and if you want to commission a piece of my art, just let me know, okay? Bye. Uh, so I got a bug to sell. Here's the thing. I kind of want to do, uh, you know, get some of his art. Um, I don't know if I can do this, but I kind of want to get, uh, a tarantulas. For now, though, I will, uh, go ahead and, uh, confirm these two insects. And see how much he pays for two dragonflies. A whole swarm. This is the best day ever. Okay, tone it down, Flick. <clears throat> Can I offer you, say, 690 bells for a bunch of them? Sell, sell. Really? Th thank you. He needs some more confidence. But there we go. So there we go. Uh, I got some more money from Flick. Let me know if you catch any more. Now, in case you were wondering uh, if I remember to do this, uh, here's a flashback of uh, when, when I first met Flick. Flick, oh, uh, hi, do you live here? I'm Flick. I'm kind of a bug buff, an insect enthusiast, an arthropod artiste. I love all bugs and their appendages. Did you see, did you see Peshmina going over there trying to catch a bug? I've been traveling across all the islands looking for my soul bug, the perfect inspiration for my art. I must capture every wiggling leg, each joint of the antenna. <laughs> We're so lucky to live in their world. So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra, no price. It's too high for my <laughs> chitinous kindred. <laughs> and that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh, and if you're um, interested in my art at all, just let me know. My commissions are open. Uh, commissions? Oh, uh, are you interested? I consider it my mission to bring the bug's beauty, however imperfectly, to places they haven't been yet blessed. A bug's form is whole and complete from the moment of its creation, while we poor observers are flawed. I seek to capture a shadow of that form, and while I do need li live models to work from, I don't charge bells. If there's a bug you want me to sculpt, bring me three of them. So this is going to be like the, the fish thing. And it's going to be a tiny... Okay, I'm good for now. It's gonna be like a tiny thing. May you one day find your own path to infestation. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, so uh, today, you know, well, this is, that's so scary. Look at the rabbit up there. Oh my gosh, very scary. Uh, we have to get eggs. I mean, we don't have to do them all now, but we can we can get eggs. Uh, but furthermore, I wanna see if I can find any uh, tarantulas. I think the tarantulas are still around because if I get two more tarantulas, uh, then I'll be, I think I'll be set. So here, let me get, grab that. That gift fell from the top of a, of a balloon. Uh, let's see what this is really quick. Present, what showed up? It could be a recipe. Uh, it is just bells though, which is good. Put away, I'll take those bells. Now, selling tarantulas would be very profitable if you, if you saved up and sold them to Flick, you know. Flip, Flick. I think it's Flick. <laughs> because, uh, you know, he pays a lot for them. He pays, in fact, 50% more then uh, Nook's Cranny will pay for things. And so, you know, if you're in that position, then that's that's great. One thing I want to do, though, uh, I don't know if there's any sort of answer for... Hold on, let's see what this fish is. I don't know what kind of fish there are. I don't know if there's any sort of answer on how to not let that, you know, the, the fascist pig guy move in. Uh, but... Let's get this. It's an egg. Good. It's going to be so annoying getting eggs instead of fish if you really were to want fish. But for now, I'm happy because I want eggs, so just play it like that. Uh, this egg can go right over here. It's a water egg. So um, I can donate that bug to Flip as well. What's over here? What did, what did I just get? What do I need to make? Velvet stool? Huh. I need to craft something. Is it? What do I need? What, what, what am I missing? I have everything. So instead of crafting something, I just need to move something back. There we go, my net. Excellent. Now, uh, starting off today's episode, you know, I, I got, a, uh, I found a fossil, and also uh, I caught a fish at the end of last episode that I, I can donate. So let's start off with that at Blather's place, and then I want to go to a deserted island and see if I can find anything really, really cool going on there. Um, maybe catch some more tarantulas. Who knows? Might there be something with which I can assist you? Uh, make a donation really quick. Marvelous. Uh, so I want to donate uh, this turkey fish, zebra turkey fish and see what Blathers has to say about it. 
Ho, hoo, hoo, why this is a zebra turkey fish. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your zebra turkey fish? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The sheer brilliance and diversity found in the aquatic under underworld never ceases to amaze me. The zebra turkey fish is as stunning to gaze upon as it is deadly. Those spines that are part of its defining physique are chock full of venom. Ugh. Fortunately, zebra turkey fish are not susceptible to another's venom. Uh, through uh, those solid... Uh, uh, sorry. Though solitary, I imagine they give one another a mean fin bump when passing each other by. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. All right, so there's also one fossil to assess. Uh, but you know, maybe I'll just wait. Maybe I'll hold off. Uh, and, uh, well, actually, no, let me just do it. Let me just do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. But sure, go ahead. Uh, assess the fossils. Let's see. Let's see what he has to say about this one fossil that I found. And I want to see if I can get eggs um, on other islands. And if I can, that'll be great. Let's see. Hoo hoo! This is most surely a stego skull. Superb indeed, splendid. A rare fossil we do not yet have in our collection. And so, uh, I will donate. I wish it would just let you donate oh, right there. You can, great. All right. I don't need to hear about it though, because, uh, because uh, I see very well. I shall gladly accept your generous donation. All right. So we uh, we we did another st stego stego piece, and uh, eventually, you know, when things get more and more complete, I'm going to take a tour of the museum. A lot of people have been asking me to go tour the museum. I walked through part of it briefly, but I think it's more something like I would do like once I get it complete. But I'll probably walk through it briefly again in the future. So, but uh, to make uh, here, let's drop off a couple things at Nook's cranny, really quick. Just a couple of things, not a big deal. Uh, I have like an extra fish or so, and then some weeds. Just three. The weed supply here is dwindling. I'm no longer going to be a good weed dealer for my Timmy and Tommy. Uh, but let's see. Let's sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Offering. I got a... Well, no, I don't want to sell the bug, but I got a fish. And I also have uh, a clump of weeds. So how's that? Sounds good to me. Uh, let's just confirm. I want to go to a desert island, see if they're having, uh, you know, cherry blossoms. I want to see if they, if they if I can get some sort of... Uh, Oh, wait. Oh, I said no. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, I, okay, hold on. Sorry. I do want to sell. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sell this, get a ticket, and I will BRB. All right. Here I am. All right. We are two down and docked on the target island. Delta Oscar. Delta Oscar. Let's go. Meanwhile, I'll be in a holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. We understand. So this is a deserted island, uh, and I don't know what type it is. Uh, there are insects, though, which is exciting, and it seems that there are things here to dig up. This, they have orange trees. I already have oranges. I brought some with me in case I needed. Okay, we got a fossil. That's interesting. Uh, I'm curious if they have eggs here, and so one thing I was wanting to do... Oh, they do have spring blossoms. Look at that. And they also have coconuts, so... They also have, I saw the insects as well, so at the very least, we're going to be able to get some insects, but I hear that, you know, if you, if you basically decimate the island... You can get, uh, well, you can get really cool things. You can get tarantulas to spawn. All right. Just wood there. That's okay. Pretty waterfalls. Uh, no. Uh, we're looking for what? We're looking for eggs to see if eggs can show up on deserted islands. I don't know the answer yet. I could have looked it up, but I thought, hey, I would just see for myself. And at the very least, you know, I want to see if I can get some sort of, uh... There we go. I already have these type of, uh... I already have these type of, uh... Flowers on my island, so I'm not super thrilled about them. Here we go. Let's just chop down as much as we can. There's an egg. An egg came out. Excellent. So we still do have egg opportunities. I think this is the first time I've chopped down a coconut tree. Uh, let's make sure the stump is gone. And I guess I can chop down this coconut tree too. With the axe. And we'll see if I can make tarantulas spawn here. I hear that if you basically destroy every little thing. So we answered the question, yes, you can find eggs here, which is great. Because, uh, you know, you can only get so many earth eggs a day via your own rocks. And then plus, I want to be able. I want to test out destroying rocks here. I want to see what happens if I destroy rocks. There's an earth. That's a. That's that's a. Sorry. That's an earth egg. I meant the. What are they called? The rocket. I don't know what they're called. But anyway, we'll figure it out soon. Hold on. 
There's a big fish there. I'm assuming this would be a great way to get water eggs too, because the fish constantly spawn. Uh, so let's see, and there's some eggs in the tree. So yeah, coming here at this time, you do get extra eggs, which is really cool. Uh, might even be something that's worth your while. There's an egg right there. Wow, this is like all eggs almost. Well, it's at least four. And I wanna see what happens if I were to eat this. Hold up. I wanna eat one of the oranges that I have. And then just totally break this, this rock and see what happens. Cause I haven't really broken one before. Oh, well, there you go. There's your answer. <laughs> I don't know what the answer is, but do I like the answer? I don't know. All right. Goal here is to see if I can spawn tarantulas. I made a good use of the egg pattern. Oh, he's, he has a new DIY recipe idea. It's probably gonna be for clothes again, right? Because that's what he did last time he came up with an idea. Yeah, new clothes right there. Leaf egg shells. There's gonna be like different outfits you can get and make uh, with like the leaf eggs and whatnot. Because I already had the idea to do the sky eggs. So you just get more and more and then he gets more ideas. So I think the water idea might be the, my, the last one I'll get because I probably will get the least amount of water. I don't know. I already got the sky, right? Let's go ahead and uh, do this really quick. And I don't know, I mean, I guess this prevents bugs from, from spawning on the stumps. I did see a bug though, right? I think I did. Let's just look around. And I definitely see fish. And I definitely see those rocks there. So let's uh, chop, chop. Nice. This is what I'm all about. Oh no, I'm, you know what, you're gonna sting me again? Hold on, uh, let me just get that, thank you. Dang it. <laughs> oh, oh man, where do I spawn? Do I still stay on this island? It'd be funny if they rescued me and took me home. No. <laughs> Ooh, had me worried there, civilian. Thought you might have fought, fought the barn. Dodo Tower, this is Dodo 1, cancel red alerts. <laughs> Ground pounders up and around. Roger that, Dodo 1, sending down alerts. When you're ready, you can head out again. Just watch out for bogeys and keep an eye out on your on your six. That's hilarious. So yeah, I totally messed that up. Uh, let's see. So yeah, there's a bug. See a, bu a bug spawn there. So also we're gonna want to probably dig up the flowers. And so uh, you can run across the flowers. I think. That's the thing, right? I accidentally did this anyway. Forget it. We'll just we'll just pick the flowers. Doesn't matter. Can't spawn on on these. But you see a bug spawned over there, which is fine. Except I don't want bugs to spawn. I want, uh, yeah, I definitely don't want that. Here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, I want I want tarantulas if possible. It's time. It's tarantula spawning time. My axe broke. Come on. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Let's just grab what we can. Big fish there. Real big fish. Eat some fruit. We'll we'll uh, dig that rock now. Okay, what? So he has an idea now for another outfit. I just know it. By he, I mean me. That's me, right? Because I've gotten so many things, and I'm getting a bunch of ideas. Still have a lot of room. So let's see. Yeah, hold. Duh. Okay. Need to make a new axe, of course, to chop down trees. And we'll see if this is viable. There we go. Oops. Okay, let's just let's just do this. Let's not worry too much about it. Oh crap. Ah, oh, I'm such an idiot. I should have worried about it. I should have worried. Oh my gosh, so many things are breaking. Well, we'll make an ax and a shovel right now. Because I need them to do the rest of this today. So let's hop on over. And 
And uh, let's move it up here. So should you craft something? Let's craft. Let's see what you got. Let's craft uh, not the clothes, but the uh, the axe and the shovel. So we we'll start off with the flimsy axe. I think. What does a shovel need? Does the big axe need? It needs a flimsy axe. Okay, great. So I'll make one of these. Awesome. Keep crafting because we're going to make then a regular axe out of the deal. And then we're going to uh, keep crafting because we got to make a shovel as well. So shovel. There we go. And then we want the better shovel, of course. All right. All right, all done for now. Uh, let's go this way. We gotta pick these flowers because we don't want anything spawning on them. This is the way I've learned it at least. I hope it's true. All right, bring the ax back. Awesome. I don't think I don't think we have to pick the weeds, but I don't know. Maybe we do. And plus, I don't know if this works. I've heard it works, but I don't I don't know in my heart that it works. I've I've not done it before. But if we can, if basically the the concept behind it is that if we can eliminate areas for bugs to spawn, they'll have no choice but for to spawn tarantulas. Cool concept. I just don't know if it works. I keep uh here. Move that there we go. Big fish there. No clue what it is. Probably nothing major. Uh let's let's see. Uh-huh. There we go. And then dig it up. Yeah, I keep I keep accidentally coming to this menu to do some of this work. And then we've already hit this a few times, and thus, uh, we will eat a fruit. And then destroy it. Absolutely destroy it. Here we go. Boom. Excellent. So, uh, this should mean, essentially, that uh, no other bug should be able to spawn. Uh, except, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if you have to remove the weeds also. But the hope is that no other bugs will spawn. And then we'll start seeing, oh wait, I've missed this whole area over here. See, oh, but it's already a tarantula spawn, look at that. Look at that, so we already do have a tarantula here. Thus, uh, we can capture him, hopefully. He's hiding in the grasses. He sees me already. Hold on, I'm coming to you. Got him. Three of these, and I will be able to have Flip uh, make me something cool. That, but almost ideally, you'd rather sell them, right? But I mean, like, hey, if I can get the, the it out of the way and have an awesome tarantula... Uh, statue, like, right off the bat, then that's cool, right? Get out of here. Get out of here. We were looking for tarantulas. Come on. <laughs> Alright, back to the axe. So, no insects can spawn in the trees. No insects can spawn in the tree stumps. No in insects can spawn um, in the flowers, because there won't be any flowers. No insects will be able to spawn uh, in the rocks, because there will be no rocks. So this is what it's all about, my friends. There's a little place up there. There we go. I'll do these rocks properly though, because I don't I don't want to mess around, you know. I want whatever comes out of them. But this is the the whole point of me coming to a deserted island is to get what I need to make uh, tarantula stuff, so. See, see how there can be insects in the rocks? 
primo example there. All right, awesome. Let's collect what we get. Okay. Yeah, so he's now has an idea for another egg-based recipe. And then the water eggs are probably the one thing that I, you know, I could really use. There we go. I was hoping that like gold or something would come out of out of the rocks, but I guess not. And then a uh, ladder. For the final flower here. And then I'm in a good spot to just go ahead and try to get these out of here. Uh-oh. The weeds in the way might prevent me. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> All right, yeah, the weeds in the way prevented me from fully utilizing this rock. That's a shame. Uh, let's destroy it, though, and see what we get. But you guys see how this works, right? This is how you, if you don't get a tarantula island, you can kind of at least increase your chances of getting a tarantula uh, by coming here. And so uh, let's just climb down. I don't think I want to be up here for the moment. Uh, and let's see what we got. So, okay, but uh, of course, also, these things will spawn, but th do these things require weeds or what? Like, I, I don't even know what, why they spawn. I don't think they require weeds, but we can despawn them pretty quick. And either way, I can go ahead and uh, try to get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, let's see, get rid of the weeds. I don't even know if this is a requirement for this part. I was just thinking about it as like, well, I could, I could do this. Uh, but I don't know. Let's see. There's a weed over there. Not, not, not that the weeds matter too much. Let's vault. Paul vault over here. Uh, Paul vault. <laughs> Paul vault. <laughs> okay. So nothing can spawn down here. Eventually when insects spawn again, we hope to see more tarantulas and only tarantulas. I don't know if the weeds are required to come up. I don't know if anything specific comes into the weeds. Uh, no idea. I don't, I would, I, I don't know. I just don't know the answer. We kind of hope, but. It's like, it's like one of those things like, well, if they did, if things did spawn in the weeds, then they don't want you to have, you know, weeds on your island sometimes. So uh, that would make a real frustrating thing happen, right? All right, has anything spawned? No other insects have spawned yet. Are they on to me? Do they know my tricks? I'm just picking these up just in case. And plus, it's not often I get to bring weed to Timmy and Tommy anymore, so I'm gonna get them a big, big stash. And then uh, let's just climb up here. And we, we can fish a little bit too because the fish keep spawning here. And this would be, the, I mean, if, if fish would spawn up here, this would be a great place. All right, so see, we have those insects down there. Oh, I already had it in my hand. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Get down here. All right, let's take a look at what there is. If anything at all has spawned yet, I want to be the first to know. Uh, that's, see, that's, I mean, those things are still spawning too. So, was, I guess it's between those and the tarantulas. Is basically what we're up against here. And we already had one tarantula spawn here. So we know that it's, it's quasi working. Get, get. Uh, let's try to fish a little bit. Let's see. Let me pole vault to the other side and fish. That way maybe something else will spawn down here. I don't know. The further I can get away, the better maybe. Something has to see it. There's like three fish in contention. All right, right off the bat. Okay, this is the, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't care about that, honestly. But maybe some of these will be eggs, I don't know. Maybe some of these will be more valuable than, I don't know. We might catch some actual real big fish. Oh, come on. Come on, yeah, he sees it.
Oh, another bass, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, let's pole vault over here. Now these, if we can just despawn these, that'll be nice. We don't really need those in our in our place right now. There's a tarantula. So this will be our third tarantula if we catch it. So this is like we made our own tarantula island, basically. And it's not as good as a real tarantula island, but you know, it's better than nothing, right? Because we did spend 2,000 uh, nook miles to get here. I think I'm, I think I'm close enough. Got him. So that's three. We can turn this into Flick and uh, make a cool statue now. Uh, let's see about let's see about fishing. See if I can get any eggs out of here. And there's like constant fish available. That's another cool thing about deserted islands. And there's an egg right there. Another water egg. And then we'll see about right here. Whoa! There's a that's a what is that? That's a what is that? Do I fish? Do I? Hold on, I'm gonna go see what that is. So there's some sort of a water bug up here that I haven't seen before. Got another egg, that's good, because uh, I'm going for eggs. Hold on, I haven't seen this bug. Pole vault. I would, I would love, I, I don't know why, why I don't remember to use this, I have this for a reason. I would love to be able to, oh gosh, I would love to be able to, uh, hold on, it's coming, coming, coming. Oh man, how am I supposed to catch this? Is it a bug or it, I think it's a bug. It, it's clearly if it were a fish, it would just be a shadow, right? So let's see if I can see what patterns it uses. Maybe I can just ca catch it. Okay, maybe I'll just uh, pole vault over there. I kind of wish that this were faster to use. Oh man, don't scare it! Don't scare it! Got it. What is this? Uh, yes, I caught a giant water bug. It should have stayed in the water. Yeah, I guess so. I actually, I'm glad it didn't, because if it stayed in the water, I wouldn't have been able to catch it. Let's see what this is up here. It could be another egg. Such a narrow area to, to fish in, but this will work. Surely he sees that, right? What? You kidding me? This is kind of a difficult spot to fish in. You see that, right? Thank you. Right off that bat. And this is just a regular fish. Just a black bass. I mean, I'll probably get rid of the black bass uh, before doing anything else. Boom. Now, I want to go down here. I hope I don't just automatically step into a spider. <laughs> but we have three total. Uh, we've only gotten two from this island, but we have three spiders total. Something just, what was that? You saw that, right? Something just dropped into the water there. So clearly there are a couple of other uh, types of bugs that can spawn. But, uh, that's fine. Like these things, there's two of these. Get out of here, get out of here. We don't want you. We already got the water bug. There's a fish. What else has spawned? I'm not really seeing anything else that has spawned yet. Oh, there's one. Never mind. See right there, right now. Oh man, he sees me. He totally sees me. Man, he is ready for me. And so what I'll probably do is just spend some time here getting these tarantulas. Because I don't want to waste it, right? This guy keeps getting paranoid. I'm going to get him. Got him. <laughs> That's my fourth. I'm going to at least sell one, right? Let's see. I, I don't want anything to just drop down out of, this, out of the... I saw something just drop down. There's another one. Look at this. There's two tarantulas already. Thankfully, I walked carefully because, you know, we never know in one... Or to spawn. Coming at it from the top is a little tough because of the fact that you can see them all if you're coming from the bottom. You can't really see anything if you're coming from the top. 
But there we go. We have like five tarantulas total now. So yeah, what I would probably definitely want to do is just kind of sit back here a little while. Maybe off camera, just catch a few more. Then return home to Flick and sell some and also have him, you know, use his beautiful art to uh, make something truly special. A, a tarantula statuette or something. A little tarantula action figure. I don't know. Uh, if it's going to be as small as the squid, it's like, all right, well, it is what it is. I don't know. I don't know how far away you got to go to make things spawn, by the way. Yeah, see the bugs here. So yeah, uh, let me try to catch this fish. This is one in a different section of water than I'm used to. It might just be an egg. Yeah, nope. Here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Come on now, you see it, right? Awesome. Okay, no, just <laughs> another black bass. I'm gonna release all of these before we leave. Uh, but yeah, fish, eggs, fish, eggs. That'd be good, right? Anyway, yeah, leave me to it, and I will uh, be back. All right, guys, I have two spiders here. I don't know how to handle this. What, what do I do with two tarantulas? There's no way I'm gonna catch them both, is there? Maybe. What if I caught them both? I don't think that's possible, but what if... They're basically both in the same spot. I caught one. <laughs> I got a tarantula! And then this one's gonna kill me. Oh, oh darn it. I tried, I tried. But still. That was cool. All right, guys, I am back home. I have five tarantulas to sell, three to turn into um, some sort of carving or statue or something. And uh, so let's find Flick. Hopefully he's ready for it because uh, he's gonna love tarantulas. Uh, let's see, and how much money is he gonna give? How much money will he give? Someone in the comments said that you had fleas. Is that true? I don't see her having fleas. Zach over here, hold on, what's up? So like, hear me out. I found a recipe for a bunny day crown and I'm totes going to share it with you. That way when we wear our crowns, we can be bunny day royalty together. Only just so we're clear, I get to be the bunny day queen. Cool, here's your copy, snoof. <laughs> Wait up, Zach, your pockets are super full. If you want this royal, okay, you're gonna have to lighten up your load and come get me, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to lighten my load, don't worry about it. Just gotta find Flick. My pockets are full of stuff. I can still uh, catch this though. I can probably catch this. Got it. All right, I had a rough day, look at my eye. Uh, so Flick, where are you, buddy? I need you to be here because I have, oh, there you are, there he is, there he is, so cool. If a tarantula were to manifest before me, how would I react? Laughter, weeping? Oh, I'm um, sorry, lost my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Cause I'll buy any kind, any kind. Oh, and if you want to commission a piece of my art, just let me know, okay, bye. I got a bug to sell. So not only do I have tarantulas, I have uh, a bunch of water bugs. I need to bring one over to uh, Blathers. But other than that, yeah, there we go. I have three tarantulas to make into a statue and then one tra one water bug to donate to Blathers. So confirm, how much will you pay for all of these? A whole swarm? This is the best day ever. Okay, tone it down, Flick. <clears throat> Can I offer you say yeah, 81,000 bells? That sounds pretty good. Sell, sell. Really? The, thank you. All right. I don't know where he gets his money from, but he's probably into some real stuff. <laughs> Let me know if you can catch any more. Uh, so here's the thing. I have an art piece of commission from you. It is sheer hubris to think that we could ever learn everything about bugs. Bugs are an experience. They are a conversation. One between the viewer and the universe. Oh, uh, sorry. I lost my thoughts. Have you, okay, so I did, uh, first, I mean, I did not, but hold on, first, uh, let me, tell, tell me about your art, tell me about your art. Oh, I see, the time has come for we two travelers to begin our journey together. What bug have you chosen to act as our guide? Uh, the tarantula. Noble tarantula, can you part with three of them? They will be happy and safe with me. Yes, please. This is exciting, I wonder who else has given him three tarantulas, they're so valuable, score to commission, I mean, um... And so our contract is bound, human. <laughs> Already I feel the all-consuming fires of the creative inferno warming my becolded blood. 
when I have completed my labors as midwife to the muse, I'll ship you the tarantula by mail. All right, great. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, now my load is lightened, so Pango. Where's Pango? Pango, there you are. Oh, no, that's just a statue. Pango, you are you back here, Pango? Aha, you are. Darn it, missed that. But Pango, what's... Oh, sorry, sorry. Give me the... Oh, my gosh. Just gotta put this away before I kill her. Give me the recipe. Flask blurb. Zach, I was so surprised by your face. I made up a word. Did you get stepped on? <laughs> or a bit by a fish? Did you fall off your roof? Or get stung by a wasp? Yeesh. That looks painful. Hurry up and get better, okay? Hey, I know. I'll teach you my super special medicine recipe. Oh, so I actually get a recipe for it. That's great. Get a wasp nest. Anyone is okay. It doesn't need to be a trendy label. Uh, BT dubs. This is uh, the only time I'll ever tell you a label isn't important, okay? I got an image to keep. There's a gift. There's a gift. Anywho, then you need some weeds. Mush the wasp nest and the weeds together and boom, medicine. You should go uh, make some Lepronto and get all better. Okay, but what about your other thing? Did you have something else? So, you come back for your bunny day crown recipe. Indeed, I have. Thank you so much, Pango. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I was able to give that to you. It really is true what they say. Bunny day is way better with friends. Snoof. All right, so a gift just flew by. And I read the comments, and there's nothing I can do about this dude who wants to move into my place. So I just gotta, just gotta talk to Tom. There's one gift. Another one's coming through. Two for... There you go. That's probably recipe two. Here we go. So, uh, let's learn this recipe. This is the Bunny Day Crown recipe. Huh, okay. Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for a Bunny Day Crown. And then also I learned the medicine recipe over here. Uh, learn that. There you go. Huh, okay. Sweet! And then, uh, what else? Um, let's open up this present. This is 1,000 bells. I guess I'll take those. And then open up this present. And this is a Bunny Day Vanity. Wow, lots of stuff to learn, for real. All right, gotta collect more eggs, huh? Another gift somewhere here. And then kaboom. Wait, no, I meant to put the, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, excuse me, flick. Oh, I think, I, did I leave a tarantula in my house? And that's an egg. Let's see if I left a tarantula in my house. Cause I, I, I could just give to flick. I mean, he's buying him, so might as well. There it is. Boom. I don't know that I need you, but let's get out of here. And we'll see what else I can craft. I mean, I don't got a lot of stuff. Flick. When the universe contemplates beauty, it imagines the silhouette of the snail. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Just, you know, thinking. So, have you found any bugs yet? I'll buy any kind. No questions asked. Uh, I got a bug to sell. I really do. Really? What kind? How much is he buying individual tarantulas for? Confirm. A tarantula by be shrill my squeeing heart. It's so beautiful. All right, your tarantula. Would you perchance sell to me for twelve thousand? So he sells it for twelve thousand. That's a great deal. All right, there you go. Awesome. Let me know if I can catch any more. So, yeah, I, I only I only brought back five because in my mind I was thinking eventually I'm going to find a real tarantula island. I can stock up then. Uh, this time, though, you know, it was taking a while. I want to get back to making videos for you guys. So, uh, let's take a look. We can look in our inventory. And we got, uh, what else do I need to put back in is the question. Cherries, maybe? Eggs. <laughs> Eggs. Move to pockets. So I'm going to have some crafting to do, right? Awesome. So I guess if we want this guy to start moving in, we'll pick a place for him, but I don't want him here forever, so... Uh, he has to atone for his past sins. <laughs> Working for the Germans in World War II. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go see him again one more time. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. Let's see. He's in the campsite. And what is his story? Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> oh man. You've been here forever. Chops, have you talked to the executive producer about my role yet? I mean, me, about me moving here? While you get things settled, I'll just wait here and visualize my new life. What do you know? Even in my visualizations, I'm well dressed. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, Chops, huh? You want to move in, huh? Well, okay. I'll go talk to Tom. But first, let me talk to Blathers. I don't think I put enough space between some of these buildings. Blathers, I have a new water bug for you. You're going to be thrilled. Wait, where are my fossils? Do I have fossils on me? I have one. Okay. So here, let's assess the fossil. Alright, assess the fossils. The only one I brought back is right here. Confirm. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Ho oh, ho! Alright. A Dimetron skull. Quite remarkable indeed. Uh, so, so he can take it. He's already heard about it. But let me uh, let me evaluate the. Uh, tell me about this. This is a this is a the water bug. I'm curious as to what he has to say about it. The giant water bug. Who dare I say? Ooh, that is a giant water bug. Do be careful and do not release it from his cage. I shudder at the very thought. How to put this gently? Ah, yes. Beware of the giant water bug. I'll tell you, this vicious predator has been known to attack fish, frogs, and even snakes. Snakes! Truth be told, no one is safe. Its nickname is the Toe Biter, for goodness sakes. Now, one final fact before I faint. This gruesome bug uses its nose to inject its prey with digestive juices. Whew. Must stop thinking about the unthinkable. <laughs> By the by, what Seymour collection is this tea lacking one? So, here we go. I'm going to donate both, uh, I guess, the, the skull and the bug, right? Make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Let's see here. Oh, I, oh, he already has this. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. At least the, he'll take the bug, right? And we don't need to hear him tell me about it because he just did. So, here we go. All right, here we go. I'm fine. Jolly good. Jolly good. And, uh, so, sure. Let's find a place. Let's talk to Tom, I guess. And, uh, I can also craft some serious stuff here. We got, like, a lot of things. So I can make some more Easter things to put into my, my room. And, uh, huh. Oh, yeah, I was gonna talk to, I was like, what am I doing? I was gonna talk to this guy. All right, sup, dude? Sup, dude? Hey, it's 11. So, fine, let's figure, <laughs> she's asleep. All right. She's been working hard all day. All right, ah, Zach, hello, hello. Isabel mentioned it in today's broadcast, but I know, today we have a first guest ever. Uh, you don't get a choice. Whoever your first guest is, he has to be here. So we gotta move him in, I gotta act like I like it so I can put a space down. Uh, leave it to me. So give me the housing kit, thank you. It's in with your belongings now, find a good spot for the home to come see me, off you go. Uh, all right, hopefully he has his own stuff and we don't have to like supply it with things and stuff and ugh. All right, cool. Uh, let's move him away from the other residents. Hey, Pashmina, what's up? Whoa, 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 what's up with your face? Did you get stung by a wasp? Does it hurt? Are you okay? Yeah, they can be mean sometimes or uh, all times. You gotta be careful around them, you know? Um, well, it's kind of too late to be careful now, but you know what I mean, kidders. All right, I do. Um, where do I want this guy to live? How about, uh, can he live just right here? I don't know where to put him, honestly. I'd probably just drop him right here. Let's just drop him right here, that's fine. Build here. Yep, that looks good. Let me imagine it, I guess. 
There we go. Sold. It's already sold. Is this a good spot? Okay. Awesome. Nice. I picked a spot for a future home to be built. Hope it works. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> well, um, do I need to tell Tom or are we good? Are we good here? I got some, some bunny day things to craft if we're good here because I can just go craft them now. All right, ah, Zach, hello, hello. Well, did you find a place for us to build a new home? Of course. Oh-ho, fine news indeed. We don't want to keep our customer waiting, so I'll proceed with construction at supersonic speed. We want our New Island friends to start their lives here as quickly as possible, after all. Hmm, this has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to move here, but scrambling to secure a plot only when the need arises is, is much too haphazard a way for doing business. Ah, yes, yes, of course. As part of improving infrastructure, we'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. I'll have to charge a small processing fee, but if we get a buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles as a reward. Zach, I do hope you, I can count on you again. That sounds good. Uh, so what's the plan? Hold on, what, what were you saying? This is the construction, cons okay, so hold on. How can I help you? Let's talk about infrastructure. Let's chat, there isn't our number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind? Uh, sell some land? Ah, so you'll help press some land for a future home. Excellent. I do have to charge a small fee of 10,000 bells, but if someone moves in, you'll earn miles for your effort. That sounds okay to me. Yes, yeah, sure will. All right, first I'll just collect the fee. All right, great. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Great. I, okay, let's, let's hold the ceremony. Before that guy moves in, let's hold the ceremony. Because we have some ceremonies to do. We don't want to be part of them. So, so here we go. What ceremony do we want to take place uh, for the camps? Uh, for resident services. Splendid. Let's get started. All right. Resident services ceremony. Here we go. All right. Here we all are. All the town for now. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Astoria's brand new resident services. Ursa's here next to me. Are you here celebrating too, Ursa? Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Astoria is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. I must confess, I thought our little resident services building might be a tent forever. But now, here we are with a beautiful new facility the whole island can enjoy. Once again, I must thank everyone who supported our efforts. And I would be at fault if I failed to acknowledge a strong ally who helped me run things who will help me run things from now on. Isabel, if you could grace our island friends with a few words. I'm so glad for this opportunity to say thanks to Astoria. Like Mr. Nook said, I'm Isabel. I haven't been on the island for long, so I have a ways to go until I'm fully up to speed, but you can bet your bottom bell that I'll help you in any way I can. If you need anything, come see me. All right, thank you, Isabel. Thank you, thank you, Isabel. Next, uh, we'll get a few words from someone who made our new resident services building possible. That's right, let's hear from our resident rep, Zach. Anything to add? Uh, <laughs> we're amazing. <laughs> Everyone likes that, that's a good thing to say, right? Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Zach. Everyone, please get ready to join me bringing in the ceremony to a close. <laughs> Ursa's next to me. <laughs> She's kind of trying to whine to get my attention. Uh, also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press. Nah, we don't need a good photo. We don't need, we don't need a photo. Yes, well then. Ursa, it's okay. Ursa, chill out. It's okay. We're just going to celebrate, Ursa. Ursa, we're just going to celebrate. Ursa, we're just going to celebrate. Why are you barking at me? You're an animal you want to be part of here to celebrate? I don't know what she's barking at me for. But well then, with hopes for our continued growth and to celebrate a story as beautiful resident services, hooray! Hooray indeed. All right, well. <laughs> Ursa. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. We could have one more ceremony, if you guys wanted to, uh, to celebrate the campsite. Ugh. <laughs> Although that guy's there. I don't know about it, but let's see. Let's see what he has to say, because we get the celebrations over with. I know that Abel is building a place soon. I don't know if we need to celebrate that. Maybe. Okay, let's have a celebration. All right. Ah, Zach. Hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you? Uh, let's hold the ceremony. All right, take part in the ceremony, Zach. Right now, we'd like to celebrate the grand opening of our campsite. Interested? I sure am. Splendid. Let's get started. All right, there we go. Now, uh, here we are. Here we all are. 
Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Astoria's brand new campsite. Yay! Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts. Astoria is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. I do believe this campsite will bring more attention to Astoria. If we treat our guests well, they may consider moving here. It's just what any growing island needs. I want everyone here to stop by this campsite and have a positive interactions with any guests there. Boo, not the one who's currently there. Speaking of positive interactions, let's hear from someone who saw that we could build a campsite. Zach, our friendly resident representative. Anything to add? Woo, that's a sarcastic woo. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for our, your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Zach. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press. No need. But ready, set, hope for continued growth and to celebrate Astoria's beautiful campsite. Hooray! There we go. But yeah, you guys in the comments said there's nothing I can really do. But this concludes our ceremony. Great, thank you. All right, and so let's talk to him. Let's see what he has to say. What's up, my pal? I am curious what he has to say now. He's not even my pal. But what's up? Chops, ahoy! That's a little bit of a local flavor for you. It means what's up, zoink? You got good news for me or what? Seriously, you got me a personal red carpet in my own VIP cabana? Uh, no, that's chops for an invitation in my own place to live, ha ha ha. All right, now I've really got to get back to my home island and get my things in order. Hasta la vista, Zach. Oh, gosh. Okay, so Chops is moving in. <laughs> I guess. And, uh, you know, we need to do a little, uh, bit of, uh, what, heartwarming? Home, home warming. What is it called? Let's craft. Let's see what we got here. One thing I want to learn, uh, we got, uh, these clothes. I don't really want to make the clothes yet. Bunny Day crown, though. We need the crown, maybe. Or do we? We need this. This is a Bunny Day vanity. We can craft this with leafed, leaf eggs. That's done. Keep crafting. Let's see what else there is. Because I know that there's stuff that we haven't got yet. In fact, if we look at the seasonal things, there we go. Uh, Bunny... We don't want... I don't want a bunch of clothes right now. But we have the vanity. Did we ever make the lamp? Or the wall clock? I don't remember. It should say what we have. Does it say what I already have? It does. The check mark means I've crafted it, right? What is this? Cherry blossom flooring. Okay, hold on. Craftable, made it already. Leaf, egg, shell. These are clothes. We've made that, the bunny day bed. Made that, made that, that. The wreath, I guess, is the only thing that was left. And then the crown, which I guess is important, maybe. Oh, I guess I'll make it. What does it require? One of everything? Sounds good. I can wear it instead of this safety hat thing. Keep crafting and we can make uh, the wreath, I think, is something that we need to make too. There we go. I can put that on either the wall or maybe my my home. Keep crafting. I wanted to look at the walls that I got because I had a really cool barbed wire wall. Um, I don't know what it takes, but we can make that. We can make a little pig pen. <laughs> All right. Made a barbed wire fence. Keep crafting. How many? How many is that? I can come back for it in a bit. Hold on. Let's take a look. Can I? Can I box that place in? <laughs> a little pig pen. All right, let's just see. I don't know, this might be too close to this. But let's just see what happens. Uh, we have the barbed wire fencing. All right, hold on. <laughs> hold on. This looks really th awesome. Okay, great. We already have a fence around it, but we want some extra security given his past. <laughs> I'm going to need to make some more, right? How many is that? How many do I have left? I only have one left. This is hilarious. <laughs> uh, let's go make some more. This is absolutely hilarious to me. 
All right, should I craft something? Yeah, let's craft again. That barbed wire fence is pretty cool. Uh, where else? There it is, right there. Craftable. One more. Craft it. Let's do it. I hope I don't need more. I don't know. Should I make some more? Actually, let's just see where we end up. That might be just enough. All right. Oops, missed a piece. Is that right? That's right, okay, great. I'm getting something done here. Oh, what, can I not? Oh, are you kidding me? I can't build like right in front of the sign? Uh, okay, let's build out one then. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more. How do I get rid of this? Oh, easy. Okay, great. No. It's okay. Awesome. Oh, are we out? Am I out? Yeah, I gotta craft more. Pashmina, don't look at me. I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> All right, uh, should I craft something? Uh, let's craft. And then, yeah, I need, I need one more set of those. Now, I need it. I mean, I need to really figure out what I'm gonna do with my uh, my, my neighborhoods and my town. I haven't quite figured out the layout, but uh, I'm gonna need to come up with a really sweet layout. That's my opinion, at least. Pashmina's like, what is going on here? And I'll tell you, I don't know. I don't know, man. Build fence. Wrong. Oh, weird. How do I? Perfect. Is it done? even see there I think it's done it's X there we go we built it we built a little pig pen for uh, for chops <laughs> all right there we go that's where chops is gonna live <laughs> all right awesome uh, so <laughs> let's get out of here well, let's uh, let's decorate with what we have and actually, no, let me, I, I just got a new site thing, right? Didn't I? That's a gift, hold on. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit this really quick. Where is this thing? Oh, I got it, okay, it's up there, that's fine. There we go. And there's another gift. These sky eggs are pretty cool. There we go again. So yeah, there's a gift that could go, I mean, not a gift, but there's a, a house I guess I could put here. It's just like, man, I really should have, uh, Oh, here, let's wear my new crown, right? Cute. How do I know if this is in the right spot? I should have built like layout a layout first. I need to rethink. I think it's a little high. Uh, let's see if that. Here, let me, I need to rethink it. I don't know. That tree, the edge. Ooh, I don't know. Um, how big are the houses? I think that tree is the edge. Okay, that was probably a good spot. Let's try it again. Is that it? I mean, like, gosh, what? I need to rethink. I don't know. I really don't know, like, I think, like, it needs to be, like, no, 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 I need to rethink, this has got to be it, 
Let me imagine. Oh, this will help out a lot. Let me imagine it. I still can't tell. I cannot tell. It looks like it's. it needs to be down one, maybe? I need to rethink it. I think it needs to be down one. Sorry, this is taking me so long. Let's try it here. Yeah, this is this is probably good, right? Let me imagine it. It needs to show me an actual house in its place. That would really help. Okay, that's good. Well, we can move it later. That's the beauty of this game is that if you mess up, you can remove it later. But someone's gonna be here eventually. If you a new island neighbor is potentially a new island friend, potentially. So yeah, I think. Uh, I got it horizontally centered. Maybe, uh, yeah, I think I got it perfect. I hope. Anyway, uh, let's go. <laughs> I love it when she sings. Uh, let's go down to the next one, uh, to, to my house. I mean, and uh, put in uh, what it is. What it is. What do we want? There we go. Right there. Hold on. There's a bug there. We've already got that bug, right? Yeah, we have. All right, let's put in our new uh, Bunny Day stuff that we got today, tonight. And uh, yeah. This should be fun. And we'll see what's what. This is my place so far. So I have now a Bunny Day vanity. And I have a... I can put this, I can put that in storage and I can put the fencing in storage and I have a bunny day wreath and I don't know where to hang it yet but that's okay there we go and then uh, hang the bunny day wreath on the wall that's fine We'll figure this out as time moves on. Um, I kind of wish there were windows in here, but I guess the, there's not. <laughs> How do you get windows? There's like one window in here. I don't know if this needs to expand or what, but I think we're doing pretty good. So guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I don't know. I don't know how close I am to paying off my next loan, but clearly, like if I wanted to, I could just go farming for you know stuff. I could find tarantulas again. I don't know. But we did a good job, I think. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see how close I am to paying this off before moving on. And, I, I, you know, I, I do want to get... I think I want to get my house upgraded. I think. I want to get my house upgraded. I think. Let's see the ABD. I need to deposit some cash because I have too much. That I'm carrying around extra bells. Uh, ABD. And so deposit. And uh, so, yeah, let's only deposit 100k. So I'm getting close, you know, to the, you know, maybe in the off time, I will uh, be able to gather some more bugs or something, sell to, uh, sell the flick. Maybe not though, but maybe. And if I do, you know, I'll let you know next episode. But hey, thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. We did a lot today. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.